Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's gonna be on Mortuary. This is part of the MVD Rewind Collection, and it's directed by Howard Avitas. This movie is pretty much about this girl named Christy, who uh, witnessed her father drowning in the family pool. And she's been having these nightmares and everything with these like hooded figures and you know rituals and stuff like that she's sleepwalking and doing some weird shit and then she you know just kind of doesn't think anything of it and then her boyfriend uh actually sees these hooded figures in a mortuary that um him and his friend are actually spying on it's in the very beginning of the movie and um she he sees these figures and you know they're like Later on, it's like, oh, that's the ones that she was describing. But he didn't want to say anything because one of them looked like her mother. And, you know, that's early on in the movie, so I'm not spoiling that for anybody. But um, then they start to find out more things. And it's, it's somebody's starting to, like, stalk her and they're trying to kill her and everything. And they're, and they're not succeeding. But her mother's making it like she's crazy. Like, oh, that's, you know, nothing going on. You know, you're just, you know, you're not with it. You're not right. And she knows that she's like, oh, my mother's trying to think I'm making me think I'm crazy when I know what I'm seeing. And, you know, they're just trying to, you know, d find out who these people are and what's going on with her and why is she involved in all this and what do they want from her, you know? And um, th this was a cool movie. I never saw this before. I've owned the VHS and I've never watched it. Um, it's a, there's a young Bill Paxton in this and uh, he plays this, like, the mortician's son and the mortician is played by uh christopher george and of course also in it uh his wife is in it linda day george and she plays um christy's mother man she gorgeous <laughs> christy's good looking too but like man oh man linda day george whew, she is beautiful but like um yeah, they have uh, Mary McDonough, McDonoughue uh, from the Waltons and David Wallace from Humongous, um, you know, was uh, Greg and Christy and then, um, you know, the other two. But like, uh, it's a good cast in here. A lot of, uh, a really good cast. Um, all like likable characters, like even the, um, the uh, um, what's his name, Christopher George, that owns the mortuary he's he does not like greg because he got him snooping around in, in there and everything in, in his mortuary and stuff he has some great lines he like he just says like privately to him to so like he you know i guess so nobody hears him saying he goes get out of here before i fill you you up with embalming fluid or something like that'll go and like uh like he's like now get out of here before i uh put you in a coffin something like that it was like real evil shit but like it was just like like old burn kind of shit too it's so funny but uh yeah bill paxton's like I, everybody thinks i'm weird and his mother committed suicide so he's all kind of like fucked up in the head ever since she killed herself and um you know it's just like there, there's a lot of secrets going on nobody knows you know what's going on until like probably the last 40 minutes of half hour of the movie then it's all revealed the reveal is okay it's kind of obvious you know in a way because there's this guy or woman going around with um like a black cloak on and like a painted up white face and black around the eyes and everything and you can kind of tell who it is but then the big reveal of who, why and everything is you know it's kind of neat it's a fun movie. Uh, it's really cool to see, like I said, a young Bill Paxton and like how much his career got launched, you know, and, you know, of course now, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but I always thought he was a great actor. I, I never didn't like a movie he was in, you know, or a TV show or anything. Like he, uh, he was just great, just great actor. Everybody was great. Like I said, Christopher George, Linda Day George, uh, you know, Mary McGon McDonough, I can't remember names, uh, but or pronounce them. But they were, they were all likable characters, likable characters. Um, really cool movie, though. And, um, like again, at the end, everything is revealed, everything comes to light, and, and everything is explained. There's no like, well, you know, but 
pretty cool pretty cool movie I, I really did enjoy it and again with the MVD rewind collection um, you get like this looks like a you know VHS looking like out here you got this this on the side and uh, the back looks like that and then you know like a the be, be kind rewind sticker and then the movie mail rated R all that kind of stuff and then the you have here you have like the same cover um, there's no reversible cover on the inside you have the blu-ray and it's region a b and c and then you get this poster here which all the mvd rewind collections come with a little poster it's not double-sided but it comes with a little mortuary poster which is cool you know i like that um it's not like a huge poster but it's cool the only thing and i've said this since the beginning that when they started this line i wish they'd do something more with this with this disc i guess maybe it's a money saving thing you know because it's just a plain white disc with a name but i just kind of wish there was more art there was artwork on it or something or i don't know something you know something else other than this plain white disc but i mean whatever right you only you play the disc that's all you do um but yeah this was a cool movie and it was a i thought it looked like it's it's scanned um Let's see, what does it say? It's, it doesn't say what it's scanning. It says high definition 1080 presentation of the main feature in a 1781 aspect ratio. Um, so it's not like 4K restoration or any of that kind of stuff. And I don't know for sure, but I kind of feel like they make it that it's not super, super high quality just to keep the whole rewind collection look of it you know like this looks like a vhs tape but it's you know it's a blu-ray so the quality of the movie isn't going to be like you know 4k scanned or or whatever you know it's going to be it's going to be 1080p it's going to look good but yet it's going to be a little little shout out in a way to anybody that has the vhs tape or you know you love the vhs tape here's the blu-ray but don't worry it's not in the super great quality it's good quality, you know, really good, but enough to please the VHS lovers out there, I guess, or the DVDs, I don't know. But that's how I looked at it. Well, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was good. Um, I wish it didn't take me so long to see it. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun one to add to the collection. I know, I don't know, actually, I don't know if this is on Blu-ray other places. Um, I know there's a couple different like VHS versions of it. DVD, I, I have no idea. I'm sure there's a bunch too. But uh, I don't know if this, I'm sure this is on Blu-ray somewhere else too. If somebody tell me if where else, some, if somebody has this on Blu-ray, if not, this might be the only one that's, you know, the only place you can find it on Blu-ray for, you know, for right now. But I think this is cool. It's a cool addition. And I really like the MVD Rewind Collection. You know, I really do. Uh, it's a cool look, you know it's nostalgic looking uh special features there's not much though um uh, interview with composer john cat i don't know how you say this case casavis Kac cacavas <laughs> i don't know uh but there's like i said there's subtitles and a mini poster um it, there's not much special features on here so it's kind of like just pretty much the movie and you get a poster in there but again it's cool for you know if you don't have it you know um but i wish there was a little more special features and i wish the disc wasn't all white with the name like that like at least it's like the same font but still but other than that cool movie um look good sounded good good and look good enough i should say and sounded good but uh yeah so that's it let me know if you've seen this before if you picked it up if you plan on picking up you know all that kind of stuff and um What's your favorite Bill Paxton movie? I don't really know what mine is. I really don't know. I, I, I have to think about it. But thanks everybody for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link below where you can go and purchase it. I'll also put a link below for the trailer. But like I always say, proceed with caution. The trailer might contain spoilers. Well, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.